Morning, everybody. It's uh, 8.35 on Monday, the 3rd of October, the first day of Q4. Okay, uh, as I said last night uh, in my uh, narrative in the letter, um, that I expect the market to move a little higher. I think that um, there are a bunch of managers who have uh, cash on hand after selling out positions they didn't want anybody to see. Uh, at the end of their quarterly report, um, but uh, there are so many stocks that are substantially lower that they want to have, uh, you know, a decent portfolio going into any kind of year-end rally that we have. Uh, as far as the futures, uh, oil is up $4 uh, on the news that um, – OPEC Plus is talking about a cut of up to a million barrels a day. Uh, oil, as I said, up 490 and, uh, pardon me, 398. Um, heating oil up 12 cents, which is 4%. Uh, gasoline up a dime, which is uh, also about 2%. Uh, net gas is lower by 28 cents. Gold up five. Silver up 50. Platinum and palladium both up. And copper down two and a half cents. Uh, as far as the uh, soft commodities, uh, we have coffee down 235. We have cotton down 41 cents. Um, lumber is not open yet, but it did close up. Uh, 1160. Um, that one has, you know, broken all support down to this 400 level. Uh, dollar is up about 13 cents. Um, Bitcoin down 280. Ethereum down 41. And the bonds are higher by almost a point and a half, a point and 14 30 seconds. So uh, very close to that. Um, news on CS, Credit Suisse. Uh, last night, the futures took a sharp dive um, around uh, 730, and that was on reports that Credit Suisse was in trouble. They have been in trouble forever. The stock is 370, down 22 this morning, down 5.6% on um information that they are restructuring. So I guess the rumors were right. Uh, we have Tesla record deliveries, but a little bit lower than uh, what was expected. The stock is 252 and change down about 12 and a half or 4.9%. Uh, Nike continues lower. It's only down 57 cents or, you know, under a percent, but it was also down 1221 or 13% on Friday on the news that uh, margins are going to get squeezed, inventories are too high, and sales are down. So, uh, you know, you can look at that and see where we're going there. As far as the rest of the market, Wells Fargo upgraded to buy at Goldman up 50 cents or 1.2%, and Axum, A-X-S-M, uh, Therapeutics, it is 48 up 338 or 7.5%, uh, announced that uh, Sinosi met its primary endpoints for cognitive functions in their trial of uh, impaired patients with excessive daytime sleepiness associated with obstructive sleep apnea. Uh, Europe and Asia are both lower, and that's about it. We're up 250 in the Dow. We're up, uh, let's see, 42 in uh, the NAS, and we're up about uh 31 in uh, the S&P. Actually, right now in the Dow, we're up 287 and up 53 on the NAS. All right, everyone. Have a good morning.